Hey folks, Mike Dawkins from Worldcast Anglers here with your Jackson All Weekend Fly Fishing Forecast for the weekend of July 11th and 12th. We survived the 4th of July. I didn't think we were going to be able to do it, but here we are. South Fork of the Snake, wonderful evening here in eastern Idaho. We've got PMDs hatching, we've got yellow sallies, we've seen a couple salmon flies. We've had some pretty darn good dry fly fishing this afternoon and early evening. So it's game time. It's on. It's the reason that we spend, you know, six to eight months of winter here is to be out here on the South Fork of the Snake fishing some dry flies, shorts, flip flops, t-shirts. It's all good. This weekend, your weather, it's looking like Saturday is a hot day. 84 for your high, 54 for your low. Sunday, 80 and 51, all sun. It looks like it's sun for the next 15 to 16 days, which is pretty traditional western summer weather. High pressure, not much clouds, um, you know, hot, dry, windy afternoons, everything along those lines. So full-time summer weather this weekend to get out there on the water. The South Fork of the Snake behind me, 12,600 CFS being discharged from Palisades Dam, 13,200 CFS there on the lower river around Heise. As I said, we're seeing a couple salmon flies up here in the upper section. The higher concentrations of them are in section two from Cottonwood up, but we're starting to see a couple here and there, some in the ditch. We're down here around the cliff walls. We're seeing some there. We've had some good uh, dry fly fishing with PMDs. PMD mergers, PMD parachutes, as well as some yellow sallies. So be ready with dry droppers, be ready for some riffle fishing and fishing on flats with small dries. You know, nymphing is still very productive with rubber legs and things along those lines and streamer fishing during those low light periods has been pretty darn good as well. The snake in Jackson, 2,050 CFS being discharged from Jackson Lake Dam, 7,470 CFS there going into Palisades Reservoir before the salt and the grays. The snake is dropping like a rock and it's clearing very nicely. We had some floats and some days up in Grand Teton National Park earlier this week. The water is perfect. We had some good dry fly fishing. We had some okay streamer fishing. It's not per you know, right there yet, but it's you know a couple days if not hours away. So look for the snake too as that clarity increases to offer some really good foam fishing, some good dry dropper fishing and some good streamer fishing here moving forward for the next couple weeks uh, of summer. You know, the snake fishes really well when it's on the drop and it's clearing. So definitely throw that arrow in your quiver of fishing opportunities this weekend. The Henry's Fork, 1,230 CFS being discharged in Box Canyon, 1,860 CFS there on the lower river around Ashton. We saw some water flow increases coming out of Box Canyon in 200 CFS increments uh, this week as water consumptive water users are calling for more water at an Island Park Reservoir. That is pretty normal for this time of year. Um, so the box has been fishing pretty darn well. You know, dry dropper fishing with gold ends and tactical, you know, bullet quills, things along those lines has been good. Nymphing has been good. There's still some golden stones and green drakes around up there too that can provide some uh, okay dry fly fishing. The ranch has been really good with PMDs, leftover green and brown drakes. Uh, some yellow sallies, you know, here and there as well as caddis. So be ready for all of those types of things, you know, definitely uh, up there on the ranch. Low light periods have been really good, you know, especially with the spinner falls early in the mornings and late in the evenings. The lower river, as to be expected, is definitely on its sort of summer slowdown. We're seeing some warmer temperatures, uh, ambient air temperatures. We're also seeing some warmer water temperatures. Warm River Ashton's been really good as of late. The Lower River has been good as well with the leftover drakes, a golden stone here or there, some PMDs and caddis. But look for those fishing opportunities to be the best in the morning when water uh, temperatures are at their coolest. The Teton in the Valley, 768 CFS near Driggs, 1,670 CFS there uh, around uh, on the Lower River near uh, Rexburg and St. Anthony. Similarly to the Snake, the Teton is dropping, it's clearing, and it's fishing really well. Little foam, caddis, PMDs, you know, big attractor patterns, stuff like that. Pair that with the dropper on some of those banks or inside bins has been a lot of fun. Streamer fishing during those low light periods with buggers, JJ specials, things along those lines has been really good too. Be ready for the snake and the Teton to be popular places here for the month of July with general river users, anglers, you know, boat anglers, everybody, we're all entitled to get out there and enjoy it. So um, 
those early morning periods and, and after and evening periods are going to be the least congested so keep that in mind as well our trips they're open and fishing really well south fork of the snake tributaries are fishing pretty darn good um, teton river tributaries are fishing really good you know snake river tributaries are still a little bit unstable i'd give those another 10 14 days before i started poking around those but look for the salt the grays you know any of those other ones to start fishing really well here in the next couple days where we're going to have our traffic spread out really well uh, here for the month of July because we're in a really good water situation and we've got some great fishing all around. We've still got buy one get one free salmon flies at the fly shop. Just say you watch the fishing report and we'll ring you up. Buy one get one free. Uh, other news coming out of the fly shop is the city of Victor passed a mask ordinance yesterday last night at 8 p.m. So if you're coming in the fly shop please wear a mask. You have to. It's a city ordinance. I'm sorry. It's not what we all want to do but it's what we're doing to keep our community, our staff, and our employees safe and healthy so that we can service you guys and get you guys out on the water. So if you're coming over to the fly shop, bring your mask, be ready. We'll take care of you. We got everything that you need and get you out on the water. We're open Monday through Sunday, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. So to give us a holler if there's anything that you need. If you're heading towards the Henry's Fork, the South Fork, the Snake, anywhere, we're ready for you guys. Thanks again. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you have a safe weekend and a great weekend on the water. And we'll see you here next week.